Hi everyone, welcome to Starmore where we talk about artificial intelligence and web development. Today we are going to go into how you can really quickly in just a few minutes deploy your own chatbot UI that looks like ChatGPT. And this is using an amazing repo that's been open sourced by McKay Wrigley. I definitely recommend checking out his work. He's absolutely crushing it, making updates every day, every week, uh, working with a lot of open source tools that are, are playing with a lot of the new capabilities of large language models. So definitely someone to check out in this space that's really pushing it forward. Shout out to him. And now he has partnered with Vercel and they have this repo available as a template. So it doesn't take any coding to launch your own version of this repo. So I'm going to quickly go over some of the features that we have available in this repo, and then I'll show you how to deploy it with no coding in just a few minutes on your own and get it on your website. As you can see, I have a version of it here on the Starmorph website. So a little overview on what we can do here. As you can see, the UI is similar to ChatGPT. We have multiple chat windows. We can make folders. We can edit the names. We also can choose which model we want to use, and we can also define a system prompt to provide certain instructions to the bot. So I could say, you know, you are a developer, give me code only answers and comment the code. And now when I chat with this window, it's going to follow that instruction. We can also export conversations to a JSON file and then import them later so we can make use of the content that we're creating. And we can supply an OpenAI an open key um, dynamically down here, as well as baking one into the app by default. So this is an amazing UI. It has a lot of functionality. And like I said, he's updating it all the time. So, you know, it takes five minutes to get this set up on your own website. Why not? And, um, you know, great to play around with how some of this stuff works behind the hood because the code is open source as well. So now let's get into how do we do this? And we're going to do this through launching a Vercel template. If you're not familiar with Vercel, it's an amazing platform that gives you a ton of functionality you can do with web applications, including uh, deploying GitHub repositories to a website really quickly, kind of like GitHub pages. Um, and they also have a fantastic library of templates that if you're a web developer and you want to learn more, you know, front end development techniques and serverless techniques, this is a huge resource because there's so much cool stuff in here working with AI tools. So definitely check that out. And we're going to check it out today by launching the chatbot UI. So basically all you need to do is just go to Vercel's website. I'll put this link in the description. And you can log into Vercel with GitHub. So I'll gonna, I'm going to log back in here with GitHub. And since they have this as a template that's ready to go, they can immediately create a GitHub repository for you with this code base. So we can make a private GitHub repo here, chatbot UI. And it's going to create that GitHub repo for us. And the next thing we need to do is we need to get our OpenAI API key. And we, I believe we actually don't need to do this because we also have the option of putting it in down here, but I'll show you how to do this because it does have an error message if you don't put one in. Um, so we might as well avoid that. So let's go over to open AI. And as you can see, I have my open AI usage here, which think I'm grateful that Starmorph has been getting a lot of usage. Um, unfortunately, my API costs are becoming a new mortgage, but we're working on that and it's great to have people using the tools. Um, but this is the page where you want to go to uh, the plat actually on the platform part of their website. And you can see here, we can go to our API keys and I'll create a new key that I'll just delete after this video. Okay. We got our API key here and now we're going to paste this into our Vercel repo and hit deploy. And now, We've created this GitHub repo and now Vercel is going to automatically run all the processes to build this website and deploy this website to a URL that they're going to give us. And then we can very easily add in our own custom domain to point this UI to wherever we want to go. So pretty amazing that one, um, this open source, this repo is open source and it's just an amazing toolkit. And two, that Vercel makes it this easy to launch a website 
especially one that is so new and, you know, so current with the technology coming out. And depending on the web app, you know, it will take 20 seconds to a few minutes to deploy um, your repo. And another thing that Vercel offers is if we update this GitHub repo, it will automatically redeploy or attempt to redeploy the website. And if it works, then it will it will update the website too. So really nice continuous development uh, capabilities using Vercel. So I imagine we're pretty close here to getting this all set up. Looks like the build just completed and we're deploying the site and deployment completed. Takes us to this page where we can click into our new app. Okay, there you go. As you can see, we have a new Vercel URL here with the chatbot deployed. Let's just test it out and see if it's working. And because we put our API key in, we're able to already talk to the OpenAI API. So that's really all you have to do to get one of these for yourself. And I know, you know, the OpenAI uh, is getting absolutely slammed. So sometimes I find that using the API instead of using the OpenAI website directly um, gives me a nice UX and it's nice to have this on my own hosting where I can, I can analyze things and, and look at the code and, and configure it how I want. Um, if you have any issues with the environment variables, you can go into your settings and play around with that here. You can see this is the one that we already added. And the last thing I'll do in this video, you know, we could, we could go into the code and we could start editing this bot, look at how it works, but I'm going to keep this one simple for, you know, non-developers or new developers that just want to launch their own chat GPT esque website. So the last thing I'll show is how we create a new um, domain to point to this UI. So I could go and I could say new chatbot.starmorph.com. And then it's going to give us the DNS record that we need to go, we need to update in order to point this domain, new chatbot.starmorph.com to this new Vercel project that we just made. So you would go in where, I'm not going to do this because it's going to show a lot of private information about my DNS records, but um, you go in where you where you created your domain, where you bought your domain, such as GoDaddy or Namecheap or your domain registrar, and then you go into your domain manage and your DNS settings and you add a new CNAME record with the name of whatever you want the subdomain URL to be, and then this as the value. And then once you do that, it will generate a new SSL certificate to give you the HTTPS and make your website secure. And then it will deploy on this URL and you'll be able to access the UI through there as well. So I hope this is helpful. I know a lot of people are trying to set up their own GPT bot and this is a great, uh, a great way to do it. Super easy and you get a lot of functionality. Okay guys, so I'll keep this one short and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this video to see new artificial intelligence and web development tutorials. And I will see you in the next video.